My name is Brock Kinkle, class of 23. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee, and I am part of the Iroquois and Haudenosaunee tribe in Six Nations in upstate New York. Hi, I'm uh, Blake Havern, uh, class of 2022. I'm uh, from Houston, Texas, and I'm a member of the Chickasaw Nation. My name is Yahweh Wishloop Sabrianis. I am class of 2024. I'm from Southern California, and I'm from the Sabobo Band of Luceno Indians. Yat eh, she e de Alice Gilmore in she, British Nishli, do Tohedlini Bashishi, British Dasha Che, do Betani Dasha Nale. My family uh, participated in the, the Indian Removal Act and found their way to Oklahoma. My mom's side, she's full Navajo, and then my dad, he's, he's a little bit of mixtures. So. My grandmother is full blood Native American. My tribe is Saboba, and it was established in 1883. My father is enrolled, and then my grandpa and my great grandpa, and so on. My dad is Navajo. He was born and raised on the Navajo Reservation in Arizona. Didn't move to the reservation until I was 14. A lot of things that my parents, my grandparents taught me is to be to be proud of who I am, proud of where I come from, and to really work hard to be able to give a good representation of who we are. So as a Native American, I believe that all of my ancestors follow me and that they protect me as I go through my daily routine. And so whenever I need them, I'll just call to them and ask for their wisdom and help. As far as my Native culture and heritage, it's important for me to find those teachings and things that have been common uh, amongst all nations and amongst all kind of religions and beliefs and moral uh, values. So in my career as a military officer, I try to try to share those things because I think it's important to find that common ground, to find those similarities that we have to, to allow us to build trust with one another. I used to see that as a challenge and as a negative, but today I see it as an opportunity because I have that unique experience I might not be um, perceived as the minority, but I can make sure that other people are, just like my cousins did for me. We have many Navajo cadets. We have Luceno cadets, Chickasaws, Iroquois. It's, it's a very diverse group. And I think just teaching people about that diversity within even Native American cadets at West Point would be pretty incredible. Kind of look around the club and we're from every region in the United States. So many different tribes have all kind of come together uh, at this place and it provides us a unique opportunity to create a community, share culture, uh, share food, dance, it's sort of unique to us and, and that we kind of cherish. For Native Americans, like at least for Navajos, serving in the military is something that's really looked highly upon and something that we're really proud of and so being able to come to West Point is something that's really unique and really special to show people who we are where we come from and kind of what we're capable of. I feel like it's showing that I'm Native American so I'm here and I'm showing that I can serve my country that we're looking for a change and we want to be together as one. So at times it, it's been hard as I reflect upon that um, but for me, it became an opportunity to teach people. It, for me, since I started in the Army, I see myself as an ambassador, uh, not just for my, my tribe and my people, um, but for Native Americans as a whole. 